Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stellaris with me, Alathrix, and of course, welcome back to the Letherian Infiltrators now in the Crisis DLC. In today's video, our only real goal is to finally unlock the actual Become the Crisis Ascension perk, so that we can start getting some menace points towards unlocking all of the different elements of the Crisis, starting with only little things, like here's a special Corvette, which I am yet to unlock in the game itself, so I'm really curious about that, and going all the way eventually to destroying the galaxy and bringing it into the Shroud, where our species is originally from. And we also had this lovely event pop up as soon as I logged in, so here's some energy and minerals, thank you very much. So over here we do have a new alien, which of course we're going to send one of our envoys over, so that we can most likely try to dissect them, let's be real. Can I try and stalk them, like follow them? So I'm fairly certain we need them to be in range for some of the events to happen. So yeah, I'm just going to follow it at that science vessel. Because we're just that lovely... Ooh, egalitarian ethics attraction. Not great for us, but we'll go with that. Domination is almost finished, and then we can move over to... I don't really know. Maybe Discovery? Also, it turns out our branch office isn't really doing all that well. They have gone super heavy into the anti-crime stuff. On the plus side, though, for us, this does mean that's no longer going to be research or alloys or anything like that. They've completely dedicated to... Oh my god, they have completely dedicated. Do you have any, um... Alloys? No, no, let me see your world. Let me see your world again. I know, obviously, you have the new dish... Oh, we don't know! Darn! Well, they haven't built the building, at least, so they may have done that. That's going to slow down their ship production drastically, which is good for us. Okay, you continue to survey over here. Let's find where our next choke point's going to be. Probably going to be, like, there. Yeah, there goes our branch office. Not really a surprise, honestly. I wonder if their second world is, is um, developed enough to really bother putting down anything. No, it's only the stage one. Well, that is a shame. There's a lot of energy we're not going to be um, collecting, but still. How goes our crime efforts? First of all, declare rivalry, that's fine. Ooh, that also makes us lose some intel. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I need to get some more points up so we can do some more of the interesting things. Uh, well, I mean, we could acquire another asset, once again, send in our organs. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try and get another asset. Um, I want to get it all ready for when we become the Crisis, because then doing things like extort favors, spark diplomatic incidents, all of these things will also give us menace points towards our Crisis status, which of course is something I really, really want. Um, how about... No, we need more general workers. Um, actually... You know what? Sure. I want more temples, and I'm also going to build an industrial district, since now we are getting enough minerals, it's not too much of an issue, and that should work out okay. Okay, so we have an option here. We can either vivisect them again, you know, to dissect them while they're still alive, or we could interrogate them. Hmm... We've already done the vivisection ones. Let's try the interrogation this time. Oh, but this will give us their organs. No, but I, I really want to see what happens with the interrogation. I know it's potentially not as good. But I really want to do that. Nope, we're going to interrogate them. Fine. Let's just talk to them very angrily. We have concluded our study of the Thetan Menace aliens we recently captured. The hostages were initially unwilling to cooperate with us, but over time they inadvertently gave us clues to their language until we are able to communicate with them at a basic level. From that point, we were rapidly able to piece together further details about them, eventually gaining access to their computer systems once one of their more cooperative hostages cracked. Thanks to the information we have gleaned from them, we were able to identify them as the United Sek Lakar Realms and have amassed considerable intelligence on their activities and capabilities, but we don't get their organs this time. Why such hostility? I mean, we could have done so much worse. We shall properly greet you in battle, of course. Where were you? Here, over here somewhere. There's your home world. And of course, I'm gonna... Because we're not on such bad terms this time, because we didn't kill anyone, I'm gonna try and shake their hand whilst I spy on them. Yeah, this time we don't have an asset straight away, so I'll have to get one without, which takes a lot longer, which is not great. Hey, how's this going? Slowly, says the organs. Okay, so it looks like the ideal choke point is here, but I might not be able to get there in time, so it's either going to be 
here or here. Definitely want that, since we are running out of energy and I keep on having to sell my relics. I've only got one left. I just sold yet another one. Yeah, our economy isn't doing great, um, honestly speaking, because we're rushing things like Unity and everything else, and even alloys, so that we can keep our star bases. But we're doing okay. We're definitely able to hold off the enemy, at least for now. Also, I realised I didn't really showcase the design of the ships in the last video. So these are all the new ships, as you can see. It's all human imperial. Well, it's just imperial, it's called. I don't know what I said human for there, but you get the idea. The one ship I really love in this one. Because I'm not 100... Honestly, I'm generally an honest person. And I'm not completely sold on this one, on this ship set, but I love the science vessel. The crackles of electricity, these two get close to each other. Absolutely love the science vessel. And maybe I'll like some of the larger vessels, but for now, things like the construction ships, I'm not really all that keen on, to be perfectly honest. I like the front of them, but not so much the rest. I'm not completely sold on the star bases. But we shall see. Since it's Imperial and everything, I imagine the battleships have, have a lot of potential, to be very honest. That's a weird way of saying that, because I normally speak so normally, like a human does. Oh, beautiful. So the popular rock has gave us alloys, gas, and some volatile moats. Just move over there, I'll um, set you off on the next one as soon as we get there. Is there any really non-others? I really want to go into the nebula as well, since I want to see how strong the nebula mining facility is now. That's been upgraded. Okay, we're almost done. We should be able to get our new asset nice and soon. Lovely energy. There we are. Domination is now finished. We're just one off with um, becoming the crisis. I'm actually tempted by... Um, Consecrated world, since we are spiritualists and we have quite a few worlds. No, maybe not. Really, it's a fight between nihilistic acquisition and technological ascendancy. Because I'm just trying to think of how I can get the crisis points as fast as I can. I'm aware that if you have a vassal, you will get crisis points over time. Just by owning them. Um, sorry, menace points, by just owning them. So if we go to war to vassalize another empire, we steal as many pops as possible. Those pops can then be assimilated or purged, which will give us menace points. We'll, of course, be, um, be destroying their ships, which will give us more points. And that's probably a min-max way of getting as much menace as possible, because we end up with the vassal, which will give us menace over time. We end up stealing their pops, which we can purge to give us menace. I think that's the way to go. Yeah, so, though it doesn't help us right the second, you probably don't want to fight the empire that is purposefully trying to be as mean as possible. Just a warning there, lads. And here is the Imperial Colony ship. Um, yeah, actually I do like that more than some of the others. Yeah, I like that. That's interesting. So now, Colonial Bureaucracy also increases your base intel level of other empires. That's really nice. And we now have a new asset. Let's have a look see at them. So our new asset is, once again, we have a lot of them which really like to destroy things. An unwitting pawn that works as a minor diplomatic functionary. They are all too willing to share information <laughs> that they should not. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. Okay, I'm uh, going to leave it for now then. I actually really hoped I'd get one of um, these. I was hoping, since I really wanted to steal technology, I was going to get a subterfuge um, techn uh, technology. But at least we have one which is tech here. So, yeah, stealing tech is going to be one of our big things we're going to start spamming because we are really behind on that to be brutal. Also, is that a precursor one? No. Have we even found what our precursor is yet? Yeah, we know what they are. We haven't had a single event to them yet, which is really, really bad. That's very slow. Oh, thank you. More energy, please. I'm being stained by events and relics at the moment, which is not exactly sustainable. Okay, so I was too late over here, so I can't grab the system I wanted. So one of these two is going to be the choke point, which is fine. Actually, this one can be the choke point. Gives them more time. Over here, though, we have another continental world, which I'm now working towards. And I have started to build up my navy, although it is coming at the cost of our resources. Oh, speaking of which, let's put down a starport here, because that's a lot of trade value not being collected. Oh, yeah, I did change both of these into shipyards, because although I've played this game for literally thousands of hours at this point, I still make very rookie mistakes, because I am a dum-dum. 
I would trust me to control an empire. Going to attempt to acquire an asset over in this empire as well. This will cost a lot of energy yet again, but I'd rather get it all sorted out now. And this will still work, even without the um, the asset on there. It just has a lower chance at the end. I think the assets increase the options of events and stuff happening and positives. It also just takes longer without one, so... This is going to be a while. Like, that roll then obviously didn't increase the breakthrough chance, but gave me one insight. One insight increases the chance, so you just have to get it over and over again. And eventually it'll get there. Yay! Finally, start excavating. You, grab that. You, can you come back and start doing all of these, which I apparently just completely ignored? That would be wonderful. And I'll have to build a star base there. That's not our immediate concern. Right now, I just need to have enough military to keep these guys away from us. Which I think I can. And look, now I have raiding bombardment. I'm going to go with Harmony, and the reason is just this here. Unity of self. Interstellar Harmony would be greatly increased if all sapient beings looked, thought, and acted as we do. Necrophaging populations gives unity, so... And that also um, counts when we purge them. In fact, I think specifically when we purge them, so... Yeah, makes us uh, certainly more prompted to go to war as soon as possible. Continuing to improve our alloy production over in Entropy as promise. We should actually be able to get a fleet large enough to really threaten them soon. Okay, here we are. We now have our Relic World. So what we need to do is clear that collapsed spire as soon as possible. That will start giving us a, a lot of tech as our population increases. Focusing a lot now on our industrial districts, I'm going to try and push to build a large, very crude corvette fleet. I'm also now researching the level 2 of coil gun, well, the level 2 of the kinetic weapon, which is the, co the coil gun, and that will be our main goal now, to get them all fitted with that. I'm sure I saw another fleet move off, by the way. That is definitely not right. An unusual phenomenon has up. Can I put my corporate branch there again yet? Please. I think they have really halted just because they've spent so much on their um, policing. Saying that, they've also spent a lot on their um, shipyards and their other worlds are looking really good. Don't know what to say, really. We're not in the best position. It's a very slow position because we've spent so much on just setting up everything. I'm a very greedy player. That's one thing I am noticing quickly. Lovely. Okay, so what do we have? Our first asset is you. You're an academic. Oh, perfect. No, it's not still technology because that's subterfuge. Oh, you've got a terrible combo. I'm assuming more of these will become available, by the way, as we get more tech or something. I doubt we're seeing everything we can ever do. If it is, I'll be a little bit disappointed, but it's fine. There's still enough there to make it interesting, but I would like if there was a few more weird options. I am basing the Empire around the Spine Network, after all. Uh, we're going to need to put the humans as indentured now. Yeah, definitely. Just don't have enough, um... Of specialists. Here's something I didn't know. Um, residences. That is a... A, a uh, species with the resident citizenship. Can't take ruler jobs. Now, I know they can't make leaders. Then the species cannot produce leaders. But I didn't know they couldn't produce rulers. That's very annoying, actually. Getting a bit awkward. Uh, well, in that case, I'll just give you some more standard jobs, I suppose. More alloys? Actually, no. Uh, tell you what. Let's build a city, a city district like I'm doing in the main world so that we can build another temple or something else. I do want to continue to rush unity as fast as I can. It has only been 28 years and I am already oh, I'm going along my, my third tradition tree. I cannot talk today. Unlike every other day where I talk completely normally. So it turns out that the Kappa Menace was, in fact, the Caravanners. So feel free to pause and read any of these. There's a lot more to do, and I can't stop for every event. I will be most likely doing a RP version of this um, of the DLC in the future, where I'll be covering everything in excruciating detail, like my recent playthrough. Uh, but for this one, I do want to move on and actually get things done. Should I build another temple? I mean, I could build a processing facility. This makes all of the humans a lot more effective, which is pretty good, since they are now specialists as well. Well, not currently, but they should be. 
Or I could start some research. That would be nice. You know what? Let's get a little bit of research. Just a little bit. A tiny bit. Ooh, lovely. We have the asteroid event. Potentially dangerous, but it guarantees us a thousand minerals if we successfully sort that out. And once again, we have necrophaged my population, so now we have more of the Lathir and less of the humans. Which actually isn't a great thing right now. We have a few too many Lathir. I might need to stop having so many um, necrophytes. If that's how you say their job title. A wreckage has been identified. Ah, oh, it's a shame it's for these fellows, not the realms. I'm actually still going to do the we will not risk the altercation because... Oh, actually, this gives us 10 intel. No, it's, it's intel, not infiltration. That matters less to me. So, no, we will not risk altercation. I need the influence to continue spreading. Once again, our empire is not meant to be dumb. Although it seems out of character for them, this is for the greater evil. And let's nab some people, shall we? Lovely, some artifacts. Thank you. Keep boosting my economy. Yeah, take that, Space Rock. Our pleasure. And we also get a favour off them as well, which is great. Why are they so sta- Ooh, they have a mega structure in their territory. A uh, mega art installation. I care less about that. I know for a fact this event can fail, but this has been succeeding every single time. This time we vivisect. Oh, I really want that. The shrine is such a good building, but there is no chance I'm going to have 4,000 energy. Actually, how many relics do we have? Three. It says 1,500. I... No, we still can't. It's fine transferring that, by the way. I've, I've, I've no use for surplus consumer goods. No. Um, not right now. Get back to us later. I'll try and save up for a little while. we found more aliens, but um, I still want to continue to improve relations over here. We're actually starting to look okay. No, I think we're going to stick as suspicious. Plus, they're pacifists, so who cares? We're just going to dissect everyone. So once again, we now know more about them. The Chinor Combine. Oh, they're in a really annoying place, aren't they? Um, obviously, Spy Network. So now we have a spy network in pretty much everyone around us. Ooh, that's good at least. I don't have a station there, so we can still make our choke points. Just do that. Life must be oh! Speaking about choke points, uh, we have war right now, which is really annoying. So I've just finished the coil gun tech, but I haven't been able to install it on any of our ships. Oh, though it will be on our stations, right? Our stations should be stronger now, yeah? Yeah, good. An unusual phenomenon has popped up. You're at war with us, but you're not actually attacking us. That is... weird. You just really wanted That's to know you don't sure. like us. Okay, good to know. It seems like they're the weakest of all our neighbours, by the way. They could be, um, blocked off or something, because there's not much space they have there. The Sigma Menace. Okay, this time we don't really have a free envoy, and I want to continue with our spies, so... I'm just going to leave it be. Now with you, I'm going to do is send the science vessel over to this. Just not do the final event, which would release Shard. I'm also building more city districts now so we can build more actual buildings. Okay, the second, that's finished. Start construction of the starport. Needed that as soon as possible. And I'm hoping, like really hoping, that the coil guns will give us the edge to actually push into their territory. As it stands right now, we can't go into their territory either. It's kind of a stalemate. Oh, hello. Oh! Well, blast. We're attacked by two. I only thought it was one. That's me being dumb. How do you even know about each other? Okay, run back. Our fleets will be able to defeat that at the moment. Come on, station. Come on, line faster. I could start building another station a little bit further back as a... Just in case. Sure. I can always cancel it and get my resources back before it's finished. 
Yeah, I need more tech. I need just better everything. My Actually, you know what? My economy's doing well. I have lots of worlds. I got a bonus to my starting population because we're a necrophage, and now all the negatives are over. We're actually in a good position there. It's just a matter of getting the advantage from that. Okay, some more research, but more unity would speed everything up. Ah, oh, five more units. I really, 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 really want to finish off Harmony right now so I can start getting menace from all of this. Okay, we have a new asset. This time it is a... Ah, oh, once again, not quite what I wanted. Academic, and now we have an agitator. A naive optimist that believes they can change the world for the better. Very easy to control by appealing to their course. Uh, if only we manage to get the crisis unlocked first, this will be some serious points. I know they have a second fleet though as well, so I need to be really careful. Also, I can't actually... Wait, I can't leave... Well, that's interesting. So, I can't leave this system because my science vessel doesn't know about it. Even though it's in their territory, of course, that never used to be the case. I assume as I got more intel from them, like, yeah, these are not unknown. These are at the moment, so as I get more intel from my spy network, I would be able to just do these jumps a lot easier. Wow, yeah, having the spy networks up and running is so good. Ooh, destroy it. Oh, no, star holds. I really want star holds as soon as possible, please. Ah, darn it. Okay, yeah, we are being forced back. They have too many, um, there's just too much fleet power there. Also, it looks like I'm going to have to put down... Some kind of um, structure here as well. Didn't spread as much as I'd like, so we're going to have to be a bit more aggressive soon, I think. Are you part of a federation? No, just similar colours. Wow, do I really want more um, envoys now? Spying on everyone. I just saw their fleet. It was like 1.6k. I am... Really, really. Wait, what station is under attack? Oh, okay, yeah, I just claimed that for a second. I honestly was very confused then. This is a really close fight, by the way. I'm just about holding them off because of the bastions. Good timing, thank you. Yep, there it is, 1.6. Just getting our corvettes into place. We should be okay. Don't move to attack them. That's not going to be built in time, is it? There's no point in that, really. Oh, nope. They're moving off. I think they're probably going to try and go over here. Am I right? Yep, they're going to there, so we just need to keep them bouncing around. This is going to be so awkward. They're attacking our station, but we're going to get there just in time to intervene. Gonna lose a lot of corvettes here, but we should ultimately win the fight. Oh, we are so behind on tech. By a lot of corvettes, I mean all of them. It wouldn't be too but Honestly, we could win against either of them, just we're against both. Okay, good, we can build star holds now. Let's save up some alloys and upgrade all of them. Okay, good. Oh, we are only just about surviving this. Harmony is finished, giving us Bulwark of Harmony as well, which is going to help out a lot. And we now have become the Crisis. The universe shall tremble if we survive this. For a long time, we, the fear, have known that we are meant for greater things, that our destiny was nothing less than the fate of the universe itself. Over the last couple of years, this notion has grown stronger to the point that it can no longer be denied that great change is coming for Latherian society. In fact, we stand on the precipice right now. The galaxy may not be ready for our inevitable dominion, but the Latherian infiltrators is ready for the galaxy. We will be misunderstood, we will be opposed, but we will not be stopped. And so, 
We have, <laughs> yep, we can now go to war for different reasons, and here we are with the crisis menu. So you see, we have the menace objectives over here, destroy empires, destroy enemy ships, star bases, purge, um, destroy worlds, conquer worlds, etc. What I want to do is vassalize empire and then retain vassals, that way we get a continuous amount. We now have the ability to, wow, purge is unlocked as a policy option, even if we didn't have that, uh, have that we already had it anyway. But um, purge speed is now much faster, which is great for us. Ooh, it's a bit easier to get people to become our vassals as well. Fantastic. And now we can go to war to vassalize other empires without being their superior. And normally you have to be at least um, superior, I think, in terms of your strength. But now you can just threaten them anyway, because we are just that threatening. And so it all begins. Okay, all the star holds are slowly getting there. Soon we can force status quo. I'd love if I could just attack one of their worlds. I just don't have enough resources right now. A study has been completed. Not against both of them. Again, against one of them we could. Actually, yeah, now this is becoming a star hold, it's going to be almost impossible for them to break. If we combine all of our fleets, we could just break through. Yeah, sure, I'll make embassies when anyone asks for now. Ooh, lovely code breaking. So this will allow us to infiltrate faster. Because right now it's routine, essentially their encryption and our code breaking are equal, so we don't get any bonus. But if our code breaking is higher than their encryption, we get a speed boost to how fast we can infiltrate. And I need the resources right now, I do apologize. Gathering leads. Our operatives have dispersed amongst the various scientific outreach schemes being run by the Alliance for the benefit of their own citizenry. I can say that easily. Our target for this endeavour may very well just make themselves known to us. Almost all fleets together. Let's get ready. We're going to attack their home system because we can. We're actually strong enough. There's a the thing. We've had a fantastic start and it may look like we're not doing that well because of our economy, but we are. We really are. It's just that we're fighting two empires, which are now being blocked by some rather scary bastions. Take them down, bombard their world, steal their populace, convert them to us. Chasing a lead, we have found a target who meets our ideal criteria, access to sufficiently novel research, and a receptive attitude towards our operative. We will continue to pursue this lead. Hello! Menace points, please! So currently at three. Ooh, and we have a new asset as well. Now we're at six. Strange. Okay, so it isn't per ship then. I'm not quite sure how exactly it works, but either way. There we go. They're going to probably offer us um, status quo soon, so hopefully we can grab some populace before then. It's going to take a while, but... There we are. Our abduction groups are now there. They can't possibly break through. This is exactly what we needed. This is going to be a turning point for the Empire. Okay, so... What's the odds that they move from the planet to somewhere else? Where do you find that? Because I really hope that the humans will jump. Oh, don't say they need to be free for that to happen. It might be the case they need to be free. I'm hoping not. And I'm hoping then these can jump so our, our Lathir will simply go to New Worlds. I don't know. Insidious plot uncovered. Our operatives in the Commonwealth have uncovered rumours that the Alliance are plotting to deceive us. We have no exact details of their apparent scheme yet, but it seems set to try and undermine us and our way of life. Quite how this information came to be known by the Empire is unclear. Our own operatives' efforts to tail suspected... Okay, so who exactly is it then? The Commonwealth. Which one is the Com... Oh, these ones. Okay, yeah, so they somehow know that the Alliance is trying to plot against us. Well, it gives us some unity, which is lovely, and we know that something's going to happen soon. Meanwhile, Bombardment still hasn't got us a single populace. A populous Populous? A single population yet. There we go. And let's increase our encryption. Lovely. More energy, please. I went far too greedy in, in unity and everything else. Our first pop has been abducted. 
Now, there used to be a bug where if you are purging a species you are also abducting, it just doesn't work. So for now, we're simply going to eat them. Then when we're finished, we will convert them. But for now, we have chicken wings. Also, we're going to go into Supremacy. Yeah, let's just completely turtle up now. Go for the great game, getting our star bases even stronger. We're not going to allow them to ever break through us. Oh, we only have a few more days left. Come on, we need more. Steal them. Steal technology. We have drawn up various plans which press a clear advantage. Our operative has at last been invited to a high security branch facility engaged in cutting edge research. Spymaster, a daughter of Fura, assur that's missed the entire name there, assures us that her simulations point to a favorable forecast. Fantastic. Our infiltration attempt in the Alliance has proceeded flawlessly so far. Our operatives cover held throughout, and although the figure exercised reasonable security, the trust we manufactured was just sufficient to grant us our window of opportunity. A complex series of electronic blinds and bluffs has been exposed, uh, so has exposed the research database for just long enough to make our move. So we can do this, this will, this will decrease our infiltration level as it always does and gives us research into climate control network. 30% of a tech is not bad. If we can keep spamming this on all the other empires. Oh wow, yeah, if we, can, if we keep on getting like 30%, 40% or whatever percentage it normally gives us towards different um, techs constantly, we are going to just rock it ahead just being able to skip a lot of the techs we normally don't go for. Ooh. Or sabotage whatever we leave behind. Afflicted by research sabotaged by for one year, so even less infiltration, since they really know we're here. Oh no, we lose our hacker. But what does research sabotage do? I wish it told us what it actually does. So it's going to affect them with that, so I'm assuming it slows down their tech for a year. But we'd lose our hacker. Oh, we need to wait at least six years before we keep doing this. Okay, I should have read that first. So all that, yeah, we keep on, I mean, to be fair, if we have four of them going constantly still, it's still really good. Um. Oh, this also gives us 10 extra menace. Then yeah, do it. They are now afflicted by that. I don't actually know exactly what it does, but I'm assuming it just lowers their tech for a while. Well, there we go. We got forced into status quo, but we do have three of you. Gonna change you now to undesirables. And you're all going to be purged and converted into a much better form. Well, that's an instant. I guess the plus 500%. Yeah, that's like instant. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's look at our crisis. We look at... I only got 37 menace from that. To be fair, we actually did very little. Um, we only started being active at the end. We need a thousand, by the way, for the next threat. And we need to do a situation log event as well. So where is the one I'm looking for right now? There we are. Purge or assimilate. Got 18 from... Just from the three? Okay, that's what we need to do then. Um... Get everyone back, get them upgraded. We need to go to war again soon. Almost everyone is currently um, equivalent to us. And by the way, we have scaling difficulty. So over time, they are all going to get positive modifiers, making them way stronger. Doesn't it look so weird, by the way? Because we don't really know much about these other empires. I don't know if I like it or not. It's, it's certainly very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I think some of the chickens went over here, so, um... Oh yeah, oh yeah, need more food now that we're no longer eating them. Uh, let's get some, some consumer goods, and let's get some energy, shall we? But there we go, we've stolen our first populace, and we are now gaining menace. Speaking of which, can one of you please steal technology from these fellows as well? That would be... Lovely. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and do this on cooldown. Just keep on stealing tech from all four of them that we currently have spy networks in. 
Well, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video. I think things now are going to go a lot smoother. We now have the much stronger star bases. Our tech is starting to increase thanks to our amazing relic world, which has loads of researchers still left to be filled in. So that's going to be loads of extra tech from there, loads of extra tech from our worlds. Everything's going well, and now we can start going to war so that we can start collecting more populations, which will increase everything even faster. It has only been 45 years, and already I am in a pretty good position. I have been a bit lazy over here though, I should have kept expanding and yeah, there's just so much new stuff, expect me to make a few more mistakes than usual because I'm just constantly thinking, how does that work, how does that work? But it has been absolutely loads of fun, I am loving this DLC, I am loving this new patch and so far the game is running a lot smoother than usual, even this early on. On a huge galaxy like this, sometimes you'd notice little blips of lag. So far, absolutely none, hopefully that will continue even into the light game, apparently it will, really hoping it will. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stellaris is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we are really going to start hamming up the e uh, the good, the good, the good we can do. I can't wait to have menacing corvettes. And look, damage against star bases has increased. It's, it's all so beautiful. Thank you. Goodbye.